This One News update is brought to you by ANZ. We live in your world. Cutting-edge technology being used to test water quality could have spin-offs for our seafood industry. American scientists have flown here to try out the equipment in Tasman Bay near Nelson. Aaron Soma went along to check it out. It's been described as a scientist in a trash can. The Environmental Sample Processor, or ESP, isn't a sixth sense, it's cutting-edge science. I don't think there's anything else like this and available in the world at the moment. It's been shipped out from the United States to begin water quality tests in our waters. The state-of-the-art machine sponsored by NASA works by... Collecting samples and doing molecular science underwater robotically and that's something that you know takes scientists a number of days to do in the lab. Using an internet connection you can tell the ESP to collect a sample, process it and spit the data straight back to the computer. The first results start coming back in only two hours. Yep, pretty fancy. Have a look at the inner workings. There's little um, robotic arms which will come in and move the sample from the site where it's collected to the site where it's going to be analysed. It's anchored underwater testing for toxic algae and other invasive species. It can trace back contamination in the water to events on land, like farm runoff or overflowing storm water drains. It can even tell the difference between animal and human faecal matter. That's important for biosecurity and the aquaculture industry, because bad water can potentially poison seafood. By monitoring that, we have a good feel for what's happening in our, our water and being able to react to issues like bacteria, viruses. Similar technology is already in use overseas. The ESP will do tests here for 30 days to see how well it works in our environment. Aaron Soma, One News. This One News update is brought to you by ANZ. We live in your world.